Hello and welcome to this AMCRAS tutorial. In this video, we will cover zone creation and alert configuration using our enhanced AMCRAS GPS tracker web platform for use with the AMCRAS AMGL300 and AMGL300W GPS trackers. Before you begin, make sure your device is turned on and attached to the vehicle or asset you want to track. If you haven't activated your GPS tracker and become familiar with the platform yet, please see the link in the description below to view our AMCRAS GPS tracker web platform overview video. Zones and alerts were briefly touched on in the previous video, and we will cover them more in depth here. Now let's learn more about zones and alerts. After you've logged into the AMCRAS GPS tracker.com platform using your credentials, mouse over to the option menu at the top and click on the Zones tab. The purpose of the Zones tab is to create new zones and manage existing ones. Zones are also known as geofences or geographic boundaries. After clicking on the Zones tab, the cursor will now have a little blue circle attached to it. This is an anchor point to use to draw out your zone. To locate an area on the map for your zone, click, hold, and drag the map around and scroll with your mouse to zoom in or out to find an area you want for your zone. Once you've located an area on the map, click to create a minimum of three anchor points creating an outline around the desired area on the map. You can continue making more points to create your zone. When finished, click on the original anchor point or simply double click on the map to complete the zone. Once the zone is closed, a prompt will display asking to enter a zone name and to select the type of zone, as well as select a zone group. For better zone identification, it is helpful to name the zone something that is related to the purpose for which the zone is created. For example, some keep in zone names can be something like home, work, office, headquarters, command center, or school. And for no-go zone examples, something like restricted area, private property, authorized personnel only, no access zone, or simply the name of the building are all good examples. So as we've seen here, the two different types of zones are no-go zones and keep-in zones. Keep-in zones are geofenced areas that can trigger an alert if the tracker exits its boundaries. Its purpose is to keep the device inside the zone. No-go zones are zones that can trigger an alert if the tracker enters its boundaries. Its purpose is to keep the device outside the zone. To better manage and organize your zones, you can select a zone group and place zones within a group. Zones are ungrouped by default. To assign your zone to a group, under Select Zone Group, simply click on the drop-down box and select a listed zone group. Or click Create New Zone Group to create a new group. A small window will appear for you to enter a zone group name. When finished, click the Add button. The web platform will assign your existing zone to the new zone group name you created. When you're finished, click Create Zone and you'll see a message confirming your zone has been successfully created. Click OK and you'll see a prompt appear asking if you want to proceed to create an alert for the created zone. Clicking Yes will take you to the Alerts tab, which we will cover here in a minute. For now, we'll click No. On the left, you'll see your new zone assigned to the zone group name you created in parentheses. Under the zone name is the type of zone, no-go or keep-in. Clicking on a zone shows you options to view, delete, or change zone group. To view a zone, click on the zone and select view to see its geofence on the map. You can modify the geofence, add new anchor points, and change the boundaries as desired. On the bottom right, you can also change the zone's name and type. Be sure to click Save when done to save your changes. Deleting a zone is very easy. Simply select the zone. Click Delete and confirm you want to delete the zone. To change a zone group, select a zone you've created and click on Change Zone Group. Under Assign Group, Click the drop-down box and select the zone group you want to assign your zone to. Or click Create New Zone Group to create a new group and enter a zone group name as before and click Add. When finished, click Change Zone Group 
and the platform will assign your zone to the new zone group you've selected. To create another new zone, simply click on Add New Zone and repeat the process. You can assign multiple zones to one group. When you're finished, click Create Zone and you'll see a message confirming your zone has been successfully created. For better organization of zone groups, it is helpful to classify zone groups by names for larger geographic vicinities, like a city, state, region, or territory. Zones are smaller specific points of interest, like city areas, businesses, home, work, school, or frequently traveled places. These smaller specific hotspots will be your zones and can be assigned to a larger group. You can assign multiple zones to one group. Another useful feature within the Zones tab is the ability to upload pre-made routes in a GPX file format into the Amcrest GPS Tracker platform and have the route added in the Zones tab. On the top right, click on the gear icon. It will slide open a small window to show assets on the map and to upload a GPX file. If you already have a route saved in GPX format, you can upload it directly. If not, we'll show you how to make one here. As an example in this video, we'll use Google Maps to create our route, but there are other websites and software you can use. First, we'll click a location on the map to make our destination point. You may see an address or latitude and longitude coordinates for your location point. Click the blue diamond to get directions to this point. The location will be filled in on the left as the ending point. Then select another point on the map as your starting point. A route will be created. Alternate routes may appear as well. On the left panel, click on the menu button and select Share or Embed Map. Click on Copy Link to copy the URL for this route. Next, we need to convert this route into GPX format. There are many different GPX file generators and apps that can be found by searching the web. We found a couple of simple and free ones that worked great for us. Please see the links in the description below to access them. GPX Visualizer and Maps to GPX were the two we successfully tested, but there are many others available online, and we do not endorse or recommend any particular one. Simply go to the site of your choice, locate the field where you can paste the URL from Google Maps or another source, and click to proceed and convert your route to a GPX file. Then save it to your computer. Next, return to AmcrestGPSTracker.com and click on the Zones tab, followed by the gear icon on the top right corner. Click the GPX Cloud Upload button. Locate your GPX file on your computer and click Open. Immediately, you'll see the location data translated into a route you can use on your map in AmcrestGPSTracker.com. On the bottom right, you can name this route and click Save. Once saved, you'll see it appear in the left panel under Zones. It will even be designated as a route. Now let's see how to connect a zone with alerts and make full use of your GPS tracker. The purpose of the Alerts tab is to create alerts to use in conjunction with the zones you created on the previous Zones tab. When used together, alerts and zones will let you know the instant a device enters or exits a zone. To create a new alert, click on Add New Alert. Here you can create a name for your alert. If you plan on having multiple zones and alerts, it helps to choose a name that identifies the alert with the zone it will be connected with. Choose the device the alert will apply to and the individual zone it's associated with. You can select to have an alert apply to multiple zones by choosing Zone Group and selecting the group from the list. Then enter a phone number and or email where you want to receive the alert. Enter optional information and click Save to finish. Clicking on an alert will display the associated device's IMEI number, the zone name, the type of zone, and zone group. Here you can click Edit to change the alert details or easily delete it by clicking Delete 
and confirming your selection, or by checking the checkbox next to the alert and clicking Delete. To delete all alerts for a device, you can check Select All and click the blue Delete button. We hope this video has helped you learn how to create and manage zones and combine them with configuring alerts using the AmcrestGPSTracker.com web platform to get the most out of your AMGL300 and AMGL300W GPS trackers. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and check out more instructional videos from Amcrest.